Hey guys, we're still here with Lillian. Hello. Yeah, and Lillian is very famous, you guys. If you don't know her, her name is Lillian Muli. She's a prime time news anchor. I don't know if there are people who don't know you here in Kenya. Do you meet people who don't know who you are? Yes, of course. I meet a lot of people who don't know me. I do. Like they don't watch TV. Genuinely, I do meet a lot of people that don't know me. You know, people, the people who haven't grown up here, there are people yeah. who uh, perhaps are from a totally different background who don't watch local TV. Mm. Yeah, there are many. Okay. Yeah, but majority, so. of course, do know me. Mm. Mm. So Lillian is a fan of this YouTube channel and you we are so close in terms of emotional connection yes. Like if I had uh, an emotional breakdown, I would call you like this mm. Because I know you won't judge and you understand these things We've uh, we've been in the news. I've also been in the news. We worked together. We've been friends mm. and we're happy to have you here Thank you and we're talking about things I wish I knew before the fame. You're telling us <laughs> things you wish you knew. Yes, things yes. I wish I knew before the fame. But for most of your life, you've been famous, right? You've been in the news, right? Yes, I've grown up literally um, in the public eye. Um, I've grown up with mm -hmm. Kenyans watching me. In fact, I met a lady the other day who um, I was looking for a school for my son. And she said, wait a minute, that little baby... He's now going to school. He's now this year's old. I'm like, yes. So she said, you know, we've literally seen you growing up in the media. Then she told me, I must resign now because I've seen you from when you were a little girl. And I'm still here. So. I'm still working in the <laughs> yeah. same place, at the yeah, same place. So it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So there are things you wish you knew before, like things found you by surprise. Surprise. Mm. And then you're like, okay, I didn't know this was part of the package. Yeah. So number one, things you wish you knew before the fame. Uh, things I wish I knew before the fame, friendships can be very fickle. A lot of my friends who are my friends before the fame, we lost touch. I'm not saying it's because of them, but I feel our paths just went a different way. And I think out of so many of those friends of mine, I'd say maybe only one or two are still in touch. So friendships do suffer when you are in the limelight maybe people look at you differently are they not like not genuine or i don't think it's about them not being genuine i think there's just a perception that you've changed which is oh. not always the truth yeah um i i i look different the the, the 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 limelight shapes you into being a different personality in terms of your makeup your wardrobe your hair where you go and some people might not be able to keep up with that growth yeah so we just respect each other's paths and um, move on so i've made other friends along the way and that's the beauty about life there's always new relationships waiting to be born mm -hmm. number two finances uh, the fame will put a lot of pressure on you in terms of what to wear, what to drive, where yes. to live. Yes, yeah. yeah? Mm. Like expectations from everybody. Thank you. Um, so I do know that I have made some mistakes, but that was previously. Just because of trying to keep up with this pressure. You know, you want to drive the first car, you want to live in a certain neighborhood, you want this bag and this shoe. It's so expensive. So for people who are coming into the industry or perhaps who are there, I'm sure most of them can relate. It can be a bit expensive. There's also the, you know, impulse buying, the impulse eating out, you know, it's just, there's always spend something so happening. Much. Yeah. Yes, you spend so much. And it's very easy to find yourself living basically, you know, from salary to salary with nothing left after after you know after your pay after like with nothing left yes. by the time the month is coming to an end you're just waiting you're negative <laughs> you're negative <laughs> you took at, at, at sometimes i used to take a salary advance in aisha so i'm waiting for end month mm -hmm. negative already thank you it's, yeah. it, it happens to a lot of us i don't know why it's it's really it affects us that much mm -hmm. That's true, but I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. But yes. it just comes with the territory, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. You're going to get so much attention, mm -hmm. you're eventually going to have to buy that car. Uh, you're, it, anyway, so also um, another thing I learned um, along the way is that you have to really think through what you put out there, your social media footprints, um, the so social media never forgets. And um, I have learned that the hard way. 
<laughs> yes. But the truth is, um, you know, either get a social media manager or think through. Just think through your content and what you put out there. Right now, I'm unapologetic about what I put out there because I don't put anything out there that I feel is going to um, come back to bite me somewhere. I don't put things out there that I don't think through. But previously, you know, you, you know, you know what yeah. I mean. So yeah. what are some of the statements you put out here and then you regretted or you felt? You like... called me. You called me after my most notorious statement, Mudoni. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got, and this was, this was the lowest, lowest point of my life. I even get balancing tears when I think about it because it was bad. Somebody had hurt me so bad. I felt like I could literally throw up and my heart would come out. I was so, I was in so much pain and I was very fragile because I had just had my baby. And for those of you who have had babies postnatal, issues and it's not necessarily depression they're just blues that come after you have a baby it's a totally different world so you hear you have a baby things are going on and i put something out there and those yeah. are some of the things that i say no matter what it is somebody has done to you because i know people do hurt us and we hurt people back please think through your reactions lock yourself in a room cry 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 but please be very careful about what you put out there because once you're famous, it will keep being replayed and replayed and replayed and replayed and replayed and will be like a tick on your back. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good you've, you've addressed this because I saw it and I was like, okay, you know, mm -hmm. like, actually I saw it on the blogs, mm -hmm. the community thing, the yeah. community husband statement. And I was like, okay, something is not right. And I reached out to you. Yes. But it's a good thing you've spoken about it now. Because mm -hmm. there's a time we were talking with you the other day and you said, we don't have a right of reply. Yeah. People said things about you, uh -huh. people called, called you names, yeah. but you didn't have a chance to, to talk about it. I didn't have a chance to talk about it. However, um, I'm also not proud of it. Like I said, I don't need to be here to prove anybody wrong or to explain myself to anybody. It is unfortunate. Just with the fame as well, yeah. you don't have a right of reply. Nobody, Everybody has an opinion. So whoever decided what they wanted to decide, decided, and they run with it and i just you know embraced it and because i knew my truth yeah i'm at yeah. peace with that mm -hmm. yeah okay i would love to be in love with somebody that i can post and that i can put on my instagram <laughs> and say <laughs> okay the moment you post hey ask me <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. here's the thing I, and you know, this is debatable. Um, I, in a just world, we would happily post our boyfriends and be happy. And But I just feel like social media relationships are very dicey in terms of their growth. And I mean, once in a while, yes, but not every detail yeah, of all your the time. life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not where you've had breakfast, where you've had lunch, where you've gone on holiday, what you're doing, what you're doing. You and, and you know, because you're famous, because I'm famous, I feel like I am also doing this person an injustice because I'm thrusting them into my world. And maybe if we haven't had a conversation about this, they're not comfortable. Um there's a guy I was dating um, who I posted once, I think once or twice or three times, and believe it or not, he told me either I'm very handsome or <laughs> I don't know what's happening because everywhere I go nowadays, <laughs> babes, <laughs> babes, yeah. are like hi, how are you, your Lilians, oh, whatever, your Lilian. <sighs> so I just yeah. So for me, I protect my relationships. If I'm in a relationship with somebody, it's highly unlikely that uh, it will be everybody's business. It will be our business. And that is something I've learned the hard way. And that goes back to also me, just like what I said, social media footprints. So if you're dating somebody today and you're very in love and you want to let them know, then don't tell them when you break up. Just, you know, either choose. Yeah. Yeah, just choose to keep quiet about your relationship or don't tell us about your relationship. And then now when it's over... I mean, don't tell us how you're in love and then when it's over again now, you, you start deleting. Me, I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> Missy, I 
<laughs> this time I'll just delete photos and move on. You know, we usually know when guys break up. Yeah, we yes. usually know because one minute, hey, all your pictures were there together. And then shortly, <laughs> oh, Jama, he's not appearing on this IG anymore. Where did he go? Yeah, you block them. <laughs> I can't follow you. Yeah. Oh, and follow and follow and follow. But anyway, you know what? There are guys out there who are very happy to post their girlfriends. Um, and there are also girls who are happy to post their boyfriends. I personally feel that because of the fame, I'm not comfortable. Yeah, is it that. isn't it unfair? It's very like, unfair. yeah, people yeah. are out here living their lives they really want, but you have to live uh, your life this way because people know you. Yeah, yeah guys, it's not fair. So, it's yeah. not fair. But uh, like I said, it's not for everybody. So mm-hmm. you learn to be strong. And but so. you're happy now. Like you're happily in love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so in love with myself. With yourself, I think yeah? that I think that is the best feeling ever. Mm-hmm. Because wearing your hat on your sleeve sometimes means you're only happy if you're in love. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't have to be in love with only to be happy. I'm very in love with myself. I'm allowing myself to meet people. Like you're going on dates and you're out here. <laughs> As in what's the situation by the you to tell us? <laughs> I take myself out on dates and I go on, out on dates with my girlfriends or guys that are my friends. Mm, am I? Am I? But you're outgoing. I like that about you. <laughs> like we hang out a lot. I like I like being in I like I like I like being in good company. Yes, I enjoy good company. Okay. So would you would you like to get married someday? Is no. it something? No. 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 No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Um, I am not in that space. I always say I would love a partner that we will age with together, that we will live with together. Somebody who has perhaps had similar experiences or a similar experience with mine. But, you know, I'm, I'm so done with um, the societal norm that expects everybody to sort of fit into that union and happily so for me i've done it and for my own reasons i chose to walk away and of course as a woman you get judged a lot when you make those decisions but it was for my mental health and my spiritual health and for my safety as well so do i want to ever get married again no i don't i don't see myself married again Mm. but i i want to have a partner that um, is my partner that I can refer to as my partner. But wedding vows, no. You don't a partner like for life. A partner for life. Like, somebody yeah. that has shared similar experiences mm-hmm. with mine. Um, somebody who um, comes into my space, um, you know, on the same playing field in terms of the value we're bringing into each other's lives. Somebody who doesn't have expectations that I'm going to have babies. Or I'm going to... You don't have to have babies? No, 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 no. So you don't mind someone who has their children? I don't mind somebody who has their children. I don't mind somebody who is perhaps um, coming out of a separation. Mm -hmm. But, um, of course, with no baggage. Is there anybody who comes out of a separation with no no baggage? Okay, I need to look at that. (laughs) Who's worked on themselves. Who's worked on themselves. Mm -hmm. And who is actually very open about that bit um and then also somebody who manyana baby mama drama mtu manyana siji u father u father abraham eh eh we're not doing that <laughs> no hey father abraham and then they're still caught up in that baby mama drama no yeah Mm-mm. okay ah oh, yeah something else you've learned my family is very delicate and they mean the the the, the most important thing to me and when I got into this industry, I hadn't signed up for uh, the ripple effect of what some of, some things people some things that people say out there. You know, they actually make you feel so bad that you wonder, honestly, what's my mom thinking? What are my brothers feeling? My grandparents, they're still young. They see these things. And now, of course, my little boys. So signing up for... A sp- for an, into a space where your life is no longer yours and people are at liberty to say whatever it is they want to say that's not something that I had anticipated because it, it 
our families get so affected by they some get of these so affected things. yeah mm-hmm. yeah and that's that's when you realize it's not just about you yeah mm-hmm. it's not just about you it's not just about <clears> you and <throat> some of these things you can't help it because you know okay so either una choma you're out there you're chomaing and so of course people will have things to say or it's just an unmerited hit as in people are just someone has just decided to just say something nasty you know yeah out of nowhere but then how do you deal with trolls i don't actually i don't there was a time i used to really respond i don't see those things anymore i think i see you know see no evil here no evil so either they've reduced and by the way i'm not on facebook i'm not on facebook at all so sometimes i see some <clears throat> things that people write on facebook purportedly on my page yeah. and i'm like that's not me so <laughs> nini sijui nani natukana by the way because i'm not <laughs> it's there. not you it's just photos it's like that, yeah there, there's someone i don't know who these people are and i think they're like five they're they, like they five fake pages fake pages where so mm-hmm. what i do for me i don't i don't deal with hate i don't confront it if somebody like on my instagram writes something nasty i just block them and delete the comment i don't i don't engage i don't i just have no i'm not in that space i have no time for that yeah. negative mm-hmm. energy anymore and you know most of the time even the people who hate on you don't have the courage to hate as themselves they open proxy accounts yeah to hate so why would you engage with a ghost yeah 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 i mean because see if you're to kind of me just do it as you mm-hmm. Let's meet man to man. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, to man. man to man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. But now those are usually proxies, so you yeah. can't respond to that. No, I don't engage with trolls. Like, do you enjoy being famous? Because a lot of people who are not, people who are not famous want to be famous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you like being famous? Fame is nice, but I feel like it has a shelf life. I feel, I feel like when you're younger and uh, when you don't have much, okay, nobody doesn't have a lot to lose, but when you're younger, you're carefree, um, perhaps um, you have less responsibilities. Mm-hmm. Um, fame is nice. It comes with its perks. Mm-hmm. There's a lot I've achieved because of the fame. But, of course, there are times when I just wish um, things could be different, could live a more quiet life. Um, just make your money in silence. Yes, or, yeah. yes, yes. Mm-hmm. It gets exhausting. It does get, it does get exhausting. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, it feels so nice sometimes when I travel and i'm just up there and i'm i'm just you know yeah. i'm just in that space where nobody i'm not cares. self-conscious yes. and nobody cares you know mm-hmm. so fame is nice of course i mean who who wouldn't want to be famous but i know a lot of people as well who also uh, just prefer a more quiet life and i think that's where i am now i'm just leaning more towards a quieter you used to like it back then but now you feel like I'm managing it better. Mm-hmm. I'm managing it better. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't have to say yes to everything. I don't have to be available for everything, um, because at the rate things go when you're in this space, Monday to Sunday, we'll find you doing something, being somewhere, uh, showing up for this, doing that. So yeah, I'm just managing it better. Yeah, I'm. I'm doing more of me and what aligns with my spirit if i feel like chilling i spend a lot of time in my bedroom nowadays by the way i was telling you yeah i feel like just chilling and having my quiet time because you're an introvert i am you also read i read me a book yes i read Mm, i I love i love to read i love to read i love self-help books Mm -hmm. yeah so for those ladies who are out here sending notes all over and trying to be famous miss (laughs) kiara Like sometimes you really want something and then when you get there you realize okay I've gotten it but then there's this other side to it mm-hmm. that I also have to deal with. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um so everything comes with a price. So if yeah. the price is too high then think twice. I I also think uh, our relationships are very affected when you're in the public figure. Mm. Mm-hmm. Cuz like me in my in my current relationship I had to tell the guy like when we were there like we call it the declaration, making a declaration in your mind. We ask like that time. Mm-hmm. I had to tell him, mm-hmm. people are going to write things about me. People mm-hmm. are going to say I'm dating this so and so, so and so. Yes. But don't listen to them. That's Just the know thing. me for yourself. But how many people are... You, you, you found a special thing. How many people will be able to actually... You know, there the, the are people who are not cut out for the type of thing of, 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 of scrutiny that comes with dating a famous person. Yeah. So there are guys who are not gonna be able to, to handle it. To handle it. Yeah. So be like, hey me, I just want a car. 
like a simple babe i don't want a babe who everyone is talking about uh sour it's been real yeah yeah true <laughs> so to kimalizia yeah so um i think this this whole conversation we had was about fame who i am how it's morphed how i morphed into who i am today my relationships who i am what i've learned along the way at the end of the day i think um my truth is that i am unapologetically who i am so i've made mistakes i've learned from them and now i'm leaning towards really special relationships with people who get me and who take me as I am, irrespective of the voices out there, uh, irrespective of what has been said, what has happened. I'm just in a very clean space and I'm coming to people with the same warmth that I want projected towards me. So thank you for having me, Mudani. It's been fantastic and I love your channel. Oh, thank you so much <laughs> and thank you for the support, even for doing this, because I was like, hey, we can do something on my YouTube channel. You were like, yes, I want to do it. And you drove all the way, Night Traffic on Mombasa Road. So thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. So thank you guys for watching. Let's meet down in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.